We're on a roll! Ah, Linhart. Reading as studiously as ever, I see. Anything to do with crests? Hello, Professor Hanneman. Actually, this book's about fishing. I didn't realize you were interested in fishing. What an unexpected discovery. I had heard that you were only interested in crests, to the exclusion of all else. As it were, I had rather thought I could train you as my successor, should we get to know one another better. I'm sorry to betray your expectation. Truth be told, I've been thinking of giving up on my crest research. What? Whatever for? Don't tell me you believe fishing to be a more worthwhile pursuit. No, it's nothing to do with fishing. I adore the subject of crests, but to study them, you have to consult the people who bear them. I just don't have the energy for that. It is an unavoidable hardship, I admit. But the satisfaction of making a real breakthrough is second to none. I'm sure the satisfaction of catching a fish is pretty great, too. Consider this, child. Luring fish from the depths pales in comparison to untangling the mysteries of a quest. Why? It all comes down to purpose. Calm down. I get it. Evidently, you do not. You must have something to work toward in life. The ultimate goal of fishing is to eat the fish. The goal of solving the mysteries of crests is... Well, you must find that for yourself. What do you hope to uncover once everything is finally explained? What motivates you to keep digging deeper? I... perhaps if I did have a goal, I might share... Taking care of some weapon maintenance, Petra? You seem completely absorbed. Yes, taking care of the weapons has great importance. I cannot argue with that. That weapon there, is it from Bridget? No, it is a weapon of Dagda. But the people of Bridget use... I mean, used them often. Fascinating. I have read about the weapons of Dagda, but this is my first time seeing... Lots of weapons and fighting techniques came from Dagda to Bridget. Ah, so Dagda to the west had a big influence on the Bridget archipelago. I am fascinated by foreign fighting techniques. Would you con... I will. But it is difficult to explain fighting with words. 
We can try sparring, maybe? Yes, a practical demonstration. I would be quite grateful. Let's have our beginning, then. <sighs> Perhaps we should stop there. Oh? Do you think you have understanding of the fighting techniques from Dagda? Yes. Now that I have experienced it firsthand, <laughs> I used to look down on foreign fighting styles. But I was clearly remiss. The footwork, the nimble way you shift your weight is extraordinary. I will have to remember those moves for the next time I... Clearly, you have honed your skills through practice. Your fist felt as sharp as a spear. Bridget is stuck in between Dagda and Fodlin. It is of much importance to hone our fighting techniques. I am of the royal family, but I am a warrior before that. I must fight to live and to protect- When the alliances of Bridget and Dagda encroached on the Empire, they were always driven back. But perhaps the Empire's victory was due to geographic advantage or divine intervention. Having met you, I cannot help but feel a little disgraced. I held foreign fighting styles in such low regard without ever seeing them for myself. When I came to Fodlin, I felt disgraced from many things that I learned. But there is no disgrace in losing ignorance. We need to be learning and growing with each other, always. Yes, by working together we can make progress. And both sides need to look ahead. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, my princess! Pray tell! Ferdinand, you should probably settle down a little with the... Just speak to me normally. My princess days are long gone. I could not disagree more to me. You will always be that from ages 5 to 11. I never missed a single one of your performances. <sighs> Seeing you on stage was like glimpsing heaven. I was overcome with bl- You're going a little overboard. And I... I think I may have something in my eye. An elegant coalescence of beautiful song and frenetic swordplay. That was the most memorable aspect. On stage, weapon in hand, letting your ballad soar to the heaven. Honestly, the first time I held a sword, it was not to train. I was trying to do your sword day. I inspired your love of weaponry? How flattering. Correct. It is all thanks to you. Oh, come now. Although I'm honored if my stage presence had any such influence on your life. The honor is all mine. You blessed me by returning to my life. No matter where I go, or who I end up marrying, my childhood memory of you is inscribed... is something... Oh, nothing. Uh, Manuela, isn't it a bit rude to sigh at someone the moment you see them enter? Panaman, isn't it a bit rude to tell others how to behave? Besides, I could be sighing about any number of things more interesting than you. Goodness, you're unusually irritable today. Don't you imagine your attitude a bit excessive? You snap at every little thing. Your ill mood on display for one and all. It saddens me to see such behavior from one who should be setting a good example for the younger... Well, listen to the noble lecturing a lowly commoner to be on her best behavior. Oh, wait. I meant to say the former noble. I fail to understand how my birth is relevant to the topic at hand. I was merely trying to... You're not done lecturing yet? Leave me alone and go pester someone else. Maybe leave everyone alone and go focus on your precious... Huh. I don't know what to say to you, Manuela. I... Oh, was that a sigh I heard? Isn't it... Don't be so childish. You are so sensitive to ill will from others, yet you let your own emotions run wild. Why is it that you cannot keep a handle on yourself? Keep a handle on? Well, I've never. What makes you think you're so much better? Just because you keep your emotions bottled up behind your stupid stony face. Well, it doesn't mean everyone else has to do... Stop telling everyone how to behave, Hanneman. It will make you and the rest... I will not stand for this insolence. It is high... Go on! If you think you can change me, I'd like to see you... <sighs> So, absolutely insufferable. 
Hmm. What is on my... Professor Hanneman, may I have a moment? Ah, it's you. I am quite busy, but if you are here to discuss... I'll pass on that offer. I'm just hoping you'll explain something. Oh. I doubt if I have anything of particular interest to sh- Why did you abandon your noble standing in the Empire? And don't say it was for your crest research. There are institutes for that within the Empire. You could easily have remained a noble and still been able to visit Garrick Monk, or request the cooperation of the Church. Certainly that was an option. Treasures and holy artifacts reside here that cannot- I required access to those things. But surely your noble status would have allowed you greater funding. Even secrets of the Kingdom and the Alliance would have been easier to obtain as a noble of the Empire. What you say is true. I cannot deny that. Both paths have advantages and... Hmm. I see you're unwilling to be forthcoming. I don't know what you mean. I've heard that you used to enthusiastically research crests for the Empire. You abandoned the Empire, yet retained your focus on crest research. I just wanted to know why. I feel your suspicions of me are unwarranted. I haven't the time now, but perhaps I will tell you more. If you... Ah, time to relax. Professor Hanneman, do you have a moment to talk? Of course, of course, Miss Dorothea. Whatever is on your mind. I heard you were once a member of the nobility, and you surrendered your title to come... Indeed, I was a noble once. Why are you so... Uh, I knew there was something noble about your speech and your perfect manners. You're always impeccably dressed, too. And you have a certain pride about you. What interests me is that you threw it all away. I threw nothing away, child. In fact, by stepping away from its trappings, in my heart I feel closer than ever to the true meaning of nobility. How so? Consider this. At its inception, the concept of nobility assumed that the greatest among the populace would rise to power. In my mind, I believe that means those who value knowledge those who strive for more and wish to protect and guide their fellow men. However, in practice, nobility often serves to keep those deemed commoners down, segregated from those who, by chance, were born to a... That is one of the reasons I decided to leave that nonsense behind and dedicate myself to the study of crests. Though I have abandoned my position, in my mind, it was to pursue what I consider to be a truly noble... I see. Well, you're definitely a noble in that sense of the word. To pursue such admirable ideas without regard for your social position. How wonderful. Pardon? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. I was just very moved by... Ah, well, I'm quite... <laughs> Caspar, I have been waiting. Ferdinand! Waiting for what? I am going to give you a lesson on the righteous path of the noble. Righteous path? What? You have a problem with my path now? We think you're more righteous than me? That remains to be seen. I heard you stopped a robbery in town the other day. Some despicable thief who was robbing an elderly shopkeeper. Rumor has it you didn't wreak as much havoc as usual. Hey now, I think you're underestimating me here. When the thief showed up, the old shopkeeper was so scared that he could barely stand. I didn't want the guy to pass out, so I had to stay calm while handling the situation. Rather than fighting, I gave my own money to the thief and told him to get out of there. Or else. How, uh, magnanimous. The thief fell for it and left the shop. That's when I chased him down. I got my money back and gave that thief a good beating. He won't be back here anytime soon. Ah, so you walloped the scoundrel. That does sound like you. I am finding this story more plausible. Nevertheless, I think... Hold on. <laughs> now it's your turn. I heard a very interesting story. My turn, eh? Let's hear this story then. The way I heard it, you punched a foreign soldier. Right in the middle. Stop, stop. I know what you are getting at. But you have the wrong idea. Let's hear your version. I had been browsing for weapons at a rundown stall. Suddenly, a man seized the stall's owner and started dragging him away. Someone with a less generous spirit might say the peddler had it coming. 
His wares were quite inferior after, but without a moment's hesitation, I leapt to his aid and soundly defeated the goon. Well done. Sounds it. It was nothing, really. Anyway, the old shop, he said that he was a novice trader, tricked by a noble into selling low quality. That ruse was about to come to light. So the noble had sent a mercenary to keep the sh- So that's what really happened. I just heard you snapped and attacked some noble servant. I figured it was worth asking him. Well, I won't deny it. I forgot my rank for a moment. Is there something wrong with that? It sounds a little like something I would- And your, uh, gentle approach to handling that robbery. That sounds like something I might do. You were not overcome by your impulses. You kept a cool- I think we're starting to rub off on it. Always looking for a way to defend just- Partners in justice, eh? Well now. That I can agree to. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. I am grateful. <laughs> What's my strategy? All of us. I will prevail. fighting. Winning is what matters. for anything. I'm awake. There's no stopping me.
Well done. Thank you. my strategy. This could turn the tides. More fighting. Ready for anything. Stopping me. Back to the fray. Thank you. 
I will prevail. What's my strategy? Ready for anything. A boon for our future. More fighting. I'll cut a bloody path. I'm awake. There's no stopping me. I'll cut a bloody path. More fighting. I do this for all of us. What's my strategy? this for all of us. For the Empire. What's my strategy? Put me in there. I will prevail. Ready for anything. Got to try. 
There is still more to learn. More fighting. No stopping me. That really helps. 
out! It's almost time to depart. Are you ready? A promising answer. Whatever happens, never allow your foe to see any weakness. We must pay close attention not only to Claude's schemes, but to the man himself. He's a master archer who wields the legendary bow, Fail Not. He won't fall easily. It's the relic of House Regan. That bow once belonged to one of the ten elites. Professor, do you know the true story behind the legend? The relics were created by the hands of mankind. Saros collected them after killing the ten elites. Saros manipulated the people of the world, 
and defeated the all-powerful King Nemesis. That's the history the Church of Saros maintains. In reality, it was little more than a simple dispute. Should the one leading the people of the world be someone with humanity, or a creature that can merely masquerade as a human at will? In the end, Saros was victorious. The Immaculate One and her family, then I know this because that knowledge is passed down from emperor to emperor. And that is because the first emperor is the human who cooperated with Saros, allowing humanity to be... Perhaps it's fate that you can wield the sword of the Creator, just like Nemesis, the King of Liberation, and that very fate will lead you to use that sword to stand against those who would distort history. It seems they've set out from Garrig Mach, and that's sooner than expected. Losing the Great Bridge of Murden was a serious blow. So is the fact that Teach is still alive. On top of all that, Judith. I told her to run if things look grim. Damn it. So many people will die, and by my call. And what of it? Would you rather turn tail and run back home? Nadir. You're really getting on my nerves. Do you have any idea how much of the Alliance adores me and believes in me? Well, I suppose it's quite a lot. Does that mean that... Yes, the plan is a go. I'm counting on you, Nadir. We'll make a good show taking down those who would assault Deirdre. <laughs> People say our kind may not always win, but we never lose. Let's teach them the real... Now then. Let's see what you're made of, Teach. Indeed. I just... Uh, I can't accept your apology until I know what it's for. Oh, I'm sorry I said you were terrified. Is that all? I'm used to that. No apology necessary. But, but you've been avoiding me since then. You even stopped doing your deathly grin. I'm merely trying not to frighten you. Is there something wrong with... Um, it's not working. You can't quit talking and laughing just to try to make me feel better. It's not really fair. I need to master my own- Is that right? Yes. <laughs> you told me not to forego laughing. Is it helping to- Yes. <laughs> 
What is it, Hubert? Nothing in particular. I was just recalling your impressive skill with the bow. I'm willing to bet you could put an arrow through the neck of an enemy general. In fact, to any leader's bodyguard, I would go so far as to say you pose the most- Don't worry your fragile little self. Your lady princess is safe. I would certainly hope not. But there are some mercenaries to whom a contract means little. And you would do well to remember that Lady Edelgard is no mere prince. You should take care to learn the proper form of a dr- I said lady. I already told you. I'm not going to break the princess's con- What did I just say? Proper address. Right. My patience has limits, you know. For the moment, you may stand in Lady Edelgard. But if you become a problem- You're unstable. Be careful who you see. I don't take kindly to those who get in the way of my contract. Is that a threat? Just some advice. Shamir, you are training away from the ground of trade. Ah, Petra. Well, it looks like it might rain. I have understanding. Rain training can cause unhealthy. Can I give you a quick? Sure. You come from Dagda, I think. Why are you working at the monastery? You can tell I'm from Dagda. Oh, I suppose Bridget is our neighbor. As for why I work here, that I also have an interest in seeing what happens to you. I don't plan to return to Dagda anytime soon. But Fodlin is an enemy for you, right? Are you feeling okay about that? The only ones I've fought in person are the Imperial Army, under the command of the previous Emperor. I carry no ill will toward anyone else, including, of course, the current Emperor. I have gratitude for your answering. How about you? The Empire is your father, and it's Dagda's fault that Bridget got pulled into the war at all. So, do you hate Dagda? Or do you see that as none of your con- The fault is not of Dagda. My fault. I cannot say I have no hatred for the Empire. She gives me much help and strength. Makes sense. You can hate a country- You speak with such honest- I'm not that special. I just don't let emotions get in my way. <laughs> Ah, Dorothea. I am surprised to find you here. I did not think you were all that religious. There's a lot you don't know, Ferdy. But you're right. I'd hardly call myself devout. After all, it was thanks to the goddess and her noble regime that I suffered so much as a child. You must be quite brave to speak so coarsely in this hallowed place. But what do you mean? About suffering as a- <sighs> Do I really have to tell you? Oh, forget it. I'm sure you already know that I'm- I grew up in the alleys of Enbar, begging for coins, eating scraps, drinking- I see. I remember seeing street children around the city. <laughs> I could have died. Then, the right person overheard me sing, and suddenly I was in the opera. I was a songstress. The people who used to spit on me and call me an urchin, they pr- A nobleman who once kicked me, gave me the most gorgeous shoes. So that is why you despise the nobility. But why do you think I am the same as them? Do you really believe that is the kind of man I am? You think I would ever treat people differently based on appearances? There is nothing noble about that. Oh, really? You're something different? That's not how I remember. It was the very day that I was discovered. I was in high spirits. Nothing was wrong. I secretly bathed in one of the town's fountains, hoping to wash off some I sang the same song the opera composer overheard earlier that day. Me? No. Don't play dumb. You glared at me, the same look I'd gotten from every other noble. When we met at the academy, you were a different person. You were like a bee, Ferdinand. A bee attracted to a fly. So it was you then? Singing that song. Dorothea, please listen. When I saw you, I could not take my eye. Your beautiful voice, your elegant face, droplets of water on your skin that gl- Stop it, don't lie to me. No, it is true. I was only a child. The vision overwhelmed me. I plucked up the courage to return, but no one was there. Maybe I can believe you. I've wanted to. Ever since that, I thought then that maybe you weren't like. Of course. I am glad we had this conversation. Life is a simple drone circling a. <laughs> Don't drones keep the queen safe from other bugs? <laughs> The 
Shamir, your archery skills were amazing the other day. I couldn't believe it when you hit all those bullseyes. Not a single... It was nothing. No way! It was incredible! You were incredible! You gotta teach me how to shoot. Maybe. That sounds like a yes to me. Are you free tomorrow? Maybe. No promises, though. Come on, Shamir, don't be like that. Wait, is this because you don't think I'm good enough? Oh, that can't be it. It's nothing personal. As someone born in Dagda, I'm not very fond of Dagda. Where is... Oh, you mean where they had that war with the Empire a few years back? Across the ocean? That Dagda? That Dagda. I had no idea. I understand why you'd hate the Empire. My father was a major general in that war. If I were you, I definitely wouldn't want to train the son of someone who killed- You misunderstand. I harbor no ill will toward your gen- I'm thankful for Edelgard. She destroyed what was left- Huh? Well, then what does this have to do with you te- I simply have other commit- I don't have the time to teach everyone, so I- That's your reason? You're just too busy? I guess I had nothing to worry about. Let's leave all that dad to it. Thank you. North of the Great Bridge of Murden, the Imperial Army passes through the Allied territory of House Gloucester and invades the land of House Regan, which leads the opposition. They move to attack Claude in the capital, Deirdre, where the leader of the Alliance awaits their arrival. My thank you so much! Thanks so much! I have gratitude. Thank you. Here she comes, at long last. 
I've done all I can. Let the cards fall where they may. It seems Claude has blockaded the city. <laughs> if that is the case, he will have... Yes. Though putting myself in Claude's place leaves me with an unpleasant... If we take over the port and close the entry to the each soldier should bear that in mind as they... There are three gates which connect. Taking the city will be easy. What's my strategy? For the Empire! I'll cut a bloody path. Put me in there. More fighting. Ready for anything. I'm awake. I do this for all of us. My turn? I will prevail. There's no stopping me. Now it's our turn, Almira's elite. Those fangs and claws the Alliance fears so much? Leave it to us, kiddo. My undefeated streak will live on. Another chapter in my heroic son. That flag and banner. Is that the Almiran? This is no ruse. That is Nadir and Almiran. Take care of them quickly, especially the... No time for pity. Thank you. 
for our future. going down. I think.
should do this for all of us. Ready for anything. do this for all of us. I'll cut a bloody path. Ready for anything. Not in vain. What's my strategy? My turn. I'm awake. I will prevail. fighting. Put me in there. There's no stopping me. Waste of time.
I'm awake. I do this for all of us. What's my strategy? All is going to plan. I will prevail. My turn. Ready for anything. I'll cut a bloody path. Put me in there. More fighting. There's no stopping me. Might makes right. Must lead them well. See this war through. I'll take it. I'm impressed.
Well done. Must pull through. Thank you. Ignorance is deadly. Live, I fight. Well done. What's my strategy?
Get in line! I'll fight to the very end. What's my strategy? No stopping me. My turn. I'll cut a bloody path. More fighting. All is going to plan. Do this for all of us. Are here as well, Professor. That's 
the last of my energy. Fair warning, though. I'll likely come back to haunt you. You... want the Alliance is over no matter what. The only thing left is that there's still so much I have to accomplish. Thorns left on this rose. I'll cut a bloody path. I will prevail. Put me in there. What's my strategy? All of us. <gasps> Ready for anything. my strategy. You are here as well. Allow me to demonstrate. That's a fair one. You... The Alliance, there's still... For the Empire!
Your death is not in vain. More fighting. I do this for all of us. Ready for anything. I do this for all of us. Ready for anything. Put the plan into action. More fighting. My turn. There's no stopping me. I'll cut a bloody path. Win or die. Put me in there. I will prevail. For the Empire. Let's keep up the pace. I'm awake. What's my strategy? Oh! Another victory. Your death is not in vain. A boon for our future.
What a bother. Not in vain. I may not survive. I'm grateful. going down. my strategy.
I'm told, let's keep up the pace. Put me in there. My stage now. Could turn the tides. I'll use this. Just my luck to be. I.
predictable. There's no stopping me. I'll cut a bloody path. I'm awake. More fighting. Put me in there. I will prevail. My turn. For the Empire. Ready and able. Never Your death is not in vain. What's my strategy? It won't be in vain. There is... Ready for anything. I do this for all of us. I must pull through. This could turn the tides. More of
hardly worth the effort. Amazing. I owe you now. Win or die. I'd hoped to relive those glory days. More fighting. My turn. Who's next? Get in line. Will this ever end? For the Empire! I do not tolerate obstacles. Splendid attack. I'll fight to the very end. I may not survive. Another victory. There's no stopping me. I'm awake. I will prevail. Ready for anything. I do this for all of us.
Keep up the pace. I'll dirty my hands if I must. Thanks for helping. I'm grateful. Unexpected. Ignorance is deadly. Tread carefully. I'll strike you down. I do not tolerate obstacles. I could learn a thing or two. my strategy. Forget about me, did you? I am not going to hold It's been fun, Claude. Hilda! Why didn't you... Re
all going down. I think I'd let you go. Not in vain. Won't be in vain.
my strategy. There's no stopping me. I'm grateful. I will prevail. I'm grateful. Put me in there. Ready for anything. We'll do all we can. and learn. Another victory. Don't have the gear. You can have the. I never planned to touch the city.
Thank you. It won't be in vain. Demands it. Do this for all of us. Ready for anything. What's my strategy? Thank you. 
I'm grateful. I'll cut a bloody path. More fighting. I will prevail. I will not let down my guard. I'm grateful. Predictable. A waste of time. Ready for anything.
We haven't seen each other since Garrick Mach. You've grown lucky. You're not so unfortunate yourself. And as usual, you're... Well, I'm sure we have much to talk about. No objections here. <laughs> Enough. You've bested me. Do you yield them? You've never known when to... Well, I can't just surrender so easily. I'm responsible for the other. If you're as smart as you seem, I bet you figured out why I was able to summon Almyron reinforcements. Wouldn't it be better to let me go and have me in your debt? Thank you, Professor. And you, Edelgard. I will return your kindness one day. Everybody, raise your voices... Hey, Teach. Claw. Settle down, will you? You're the victor, after all. I could have escaped, but I decided to say hi to Teach. Nothing to worry if Deirdre has fallen and the Alliance has collapsed. There's nothing I could do to turn things around. If you want me to drop my guard around someone who evaded detection by my soul? Did you really risk coming here just to... I did. But mostly, I wanted to say goodbye. Lend you my... <laughs> I knew I liked you. I dare say Fodlin would be a lot more peaceful without me around. It's as you say. So long as you remain here, the faction of the Alliance that is against the Empire will continue to support you. Too true. It's best if I leave this place altogether. All I ask is that you go easy on the Alliance. After all, and please treat my former classmates well. I Wait, did your scheming include a plan for if the Alliance law? <laughs> uh, you think too highly of me. Outside of Deirdre, most of the Alliance is unscathed and ready to join your superior... In all honesty, I was hoping to become a supreme ruler and lead foe... Claude. Good luck to you, Edelgard. We crushed him in battle, and yet... Lady Edelgard, Deirdre is now completely under... As planned, the Alliance's affairs will now be overseen by... My father is coming here? First west, then east. Should the others return to the monastery and... Yes, thank you. Thanks to all of your efforts. Our battle with the Alliance has reached its conclusion. However, we still can't afford to be careless. We must now join the battle against the Kingdom. With the strength of the Church on their side, more than ever, your support is invaluable. We'll need... Let's get to... I'm so happy that the end of the fighting is near. The Kingdom and the Church of Saros are worthy for fighting. Crushing wouldn't yield a lot of pieces, but I guess it with the professor we can't lose. Probably. Oh no. Are we fighting Lady Rhea? But she's scary. And she'll be really angry. But no way she can stay in her spooky beast form all. If she could, she would have come and attacked the monastery as many times as she wanted. It may be wishful thinking, but perhaps it is a power that she can only access when the situation is dire. But whether she is the Archbishop or the Immaculate, half remains, but half is finished. <laughs> no one can stop us from pushing forward. No one. Part 2 Crimson Flower, Pegasus Moon, Tempest of Swords and Shields. With Deirdre under Imperial control, the Leicester Alliance ceases to exist, and its remaining lords ally themselves with the Empire. The Black Eagle Strike Force, having now conquered all of Eastern Fodlan, confidently moves to invade the kingdom. Thank you. 
And that concludes Count Vergles's report. Just as Claude said, the old alliance has willingly fallen under imperial rule. However, knowing him, there is no telling what manner of poison could... We must be careful not... Of course. Though it seems we can now attack the kingdom with... True. However, you should know that Lord Arendelle has entered Deirdre. It would seem he has already started collecting the relics of the old... Let him do as he pleases for now. It's not yet the time to chide him. Understood. As for the kingdom, if we defeat the royal family of House Blathed, and a handful of other notable houses, it should fall under our control. Those we must target include the houses Fraldarius, Galatea, Gautier, and... What about House Row in Arian Road, the fortress city? Will they not side with us? The head of House Fraldarius, Lord Rodrigue, has entered the city. It is possible that he has seized it. I see. Then it might prove too difficult to strike Ferdiad right away. Either way, when preparations are complete, we can begin our deployment into the... That part of the plan remains unchanged. Professor, is something wrong? Yes, I don't imagine that you have much interest in a running list, but it matters not. The nobility and the weight of all... This month, we must again put all of our effort into preparing for battle. Ah! Professor, you didn't hear any... Cute! Huh. Well, be that as it may. You seem to be trying your hardest to infuriate. It's just... Well, there was a rat. I believe I've told you about this before. There were a lot of rats. What? Oh, Professor, I recall now that Hubert need. I must change my clothes. Ah, uh, then forget what you... Professor, please do not be concerned. I just did too much overworking. Yes, I have no problems. If I have sorrow, uh, I mean, I am sorry to be fainting at a time like this, even though I was not asking for your care and attention. I am thinking that is incorrect. Will you have a listen to me? I am thinking you already have knowledge of why I came to Fodlin. Not for studying, but as a hostage for the Empire. It feels like... a knife against my throat. Because I am a hostage, it is not an option to be giving up. I must do anything to be making life better for Bridget. That is what my people are wanting from me. That is a truth. I want to be granting the wants of my tribe. What I really- I have understanding. What I am understanding is that when I know what my true want is... My- My- Thank you. Delicious. Indeed. Well. What? I don't think. Indeed. Indeed. It was my own. Thank you.